I just did a video of a different unboxing. We won't talk about that one, okay? <laughs> I'm Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and Tarot, and I got another box. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and get this video out there for you guys too. Um, this is my Sugar Muses. I believe this is the Midnight Muses because it's a smaller box. So, yay! Um, all I've done is just use my X-Acto knife to open it up. So, I, and again, I haven't been like watching um, anything online because I don't want to see anything that's in here. So this is a surprise to me. I'm not even sure if I've seen like what the um, theme is. I mean, they may have not told us. I'm not really sure. So, okay. So open it up. All right. So ooh, there's something right on top that looks cool. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to see if it's something that I can read that has nothing to do with what's in the box. Okay. So it says Midnight Muses. Wait. Is this the Midnight Muses? I'm so confused. We'll find out. I guess this is Midnight Muses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scratch that. I'm crazy. This is Midnight Muses. Yeah. Okay. The Monarchs Return, celebrating Samhain and the Day of the Dead. October officially ushers in the season of the Witch and Samhain, one of the four greater Sabbaths. This holiday marks the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter or the darker half of the year. Samhain is a Celtic word meaning summer's end that begins on October 31st and ends the evening of November 1st. Celebrations can take on many forms, from the traditional fire ceremonies to celebrations that embrace many aspects of modern Halloween as well as activities related to honoring ancestors. Some of us also celebrate the Day of the Dead, Dia de la Muertes. Mur Muerte. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Where it is. Anyways, whatever. You guys know. Uh, this holiday celebrated throughout Mexico and other areas. Developed from ancient traditions among its pre-Columbian cultures, the multi-day holiday involves family and friends gathering to remember friends and family members who have crossed over. It may, <laughs> the, when I think of um, uh, the Day of the Dead, I think of um, the little cartoon Coco. I don't know if that's the name of it, but my granddaughter loves that movie and it's hilarious to watch her when she's watching it and dancing. Anyways. Loved ones will visit cemeteries to be with the souls of the departed and build private altars containing the favorite foods and beverages as well as photos and memorabilia of the departed. Every ofrenda altar, I know that's a word for altar, usually includes the four elements, water, wind, earth, and fire. Water is left in a pitcher so the spirits can quench their thirst. Papal picado, or traditional paper banners, represent the wind. Earth is represented by food, especially bread. Candles are often left in the form of a cross to represent the cardinal directions so the spirits can find their way. Ancient Mesoamericans believed that death was part of the journey of life. Rather than death ending life, they believed that new life came from death. This cycle is often associated with the cyclical nature of agriculture, whereby crops grow from the ground where the last crop lies buried. Dia de los Muertos, as well as Samhain, is an opportunity to remember and celebrate the lives of departed loved ones. In specific parts of Mexico, the Dia de los Muertos holiday season is signaled by a remarkable natural event that happens each year in the mountains of central Mexico. Like clockwork, some 300 million monarch butterflies travel from the northeast U.S. and southeastern Canada and make the 2,000-mile trip south. Oh my god, how awesome. This phenomenon remains a mystery to scientists who aren't yet certain how the butterflies manage to find these specific forest sanctuaries that they have never been to before. That is so cool. Through folklore and traditions, the monarch butterflies have come to be regarded as the souls of departed ancestors returning to earth for their annual visit. That is the coolest thing. I've not heard of that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, where was I at? I got sidetracked. <laughs> okay, of course everyone has a different opinion about the best way to perform spells and rituals and the way that works for them personally. The items in this uh, month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. 
They are curated to help inspire. Oh, there's a monarch butterfly in the background. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> oh, God, I lost my spot again. Um, they're curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I have outlined one below, along with the metaphysical properties of the items tools for this month's box. Okay, so I don't know. Can you look at, oh, you can see it. Look at the monarch butterfly. Sorry, I just realized that. And again, if you didn't notice, ADD. Okay. Um, okay, she just talks about a ritual, like casting a circle. So I guess I'll just go down the line in here. So, well, first on top, look at this Samhain artwork. So freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a butterfly right there. Sorry, my light is like shining off of it in a horrible way. Oh, and then they've got artwork for Mandrake. Guess we're getting some of that. <laughs> Must be our herb. Nice. How pretty. Ooh, look at the. There's an astrological wheel. Love it. Okay, let's go ahead and open our oracle card. There's just a little, um, I don't know how to make this focus. It's just a little flower. It looks like a flower. Me and my old eyes. It's a little card. Oh my. I got the Hierophant. I guess it's, I guess it's, uh, in Spanish, maybe at the top. Look at that. What is this like the zombie tarot? Here's the back of the card. Oh, sorry. My lights are terrible. Cool. Okay. I guess we'll find out what that's all about. Let me find it in here. Try not to read anything. Oh my God. I hate when I like see things. Okay. The digital collage. Okay. So the Samhain art print by Christy. So I guess Christy is the, um, is the one who owns the sugar muses company. I'm assuming she signed the paper. <laughs> Anyways, she does the artwork. That is so fabulous. Why? I'll tell you what goddess. When I was born, she was like, don't give her any talents. She doesn't need any. Give them somebody else. I've always wished that I could draw. Like, I could make my own damn tarot deck, y'all. <sighs> Anyways, but I'm really happy for those who have talents. <laughs> okay, so, Salwin, um, artwork. Okay, the digital collage art print was created exclusively, exclusively for this month's box. Place it on your altar, in a frame, or add it to your book of shadows, grimoire for future reference. Awesome. I kind of... I always display them. I've got like, one of these days I'll show you guys kind of my, my space. I've got a couple different sacred spaces. Um, but I have this really cool like um, built-in, this house is older and it's a built-in like cabinets and drawers and um, kind of like bookshelf type thing. And so I put a lot of my artwork um, from like all my boxes over there. So, all right. And then the Mandrake art print, this digital, it was, this one. This digital collage art print is a compilation of artwork by Kiari at style24.com.au and Sugar Muses created exclusively for this month's box. Place it on your altar or frame it or add it to your shadows. Da, da, da. Okay, let's see what this tarot card says. Intuitively drawn tarot card. For more information about your card in the deck, it was drawn from search for, oh, I'm not going to say this right. Favoli, Favoli, F-A-V-O-L-E Tarot by Victoria Francis on sugarmuses.com. Take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has to you and of any insight it may bring. Um, so I got the hero fan. Um, for me right now, I am looking for guidance from somebody who knows more about the subject that I'm going through right now. I mentioned in one of my other videos that my family is going through a bit of a um, trying time right now. 
And right now my hands are in, or my life is in the hands of somebody with more knowledge of the subject than me. So that's the Hierophant. Um, I am needing this person to teach me and guide me along this um, situation because I don't know what to do. So yeah, the hero fan is a really good card for me right now. Okay, and I know who that person is <laughs> that um, is my hero fan right now. Okay, I digress again. Okay, so we've got like gold paper. And of course they give their little business card, sugarmuses.com. Oh my God, I don't even know what to do here. <laughs> There's like so much coolness in here. Ancestor offering. So um, this saw when I will be lighting a candle for my grandparents. Um, my grandma Rosemary was actually born on Halloween, which is like so cool. Um, she passed literally the day after I found out that my son was going to have a baby. I'll tell that story later. There's some interesting things with people passing in my family and then um, me getting pregnant <laughs> and having babies. And now apparently this happens to my children. So, <laughs> um, so yes, this is an ancestor offering. Look how wonderful. It's so gorgeous. I think there's rosemary in here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be going to my grandma. Um, rosemary. Okay. Let's look this up. Ancestor offering. This blend contains, uh, I can't even pronounce this. <laughs> I'm not going to try. It's a type of marigold. So there's our little orange in there, which is often placed on altars and around graves. The petals are used to make a path that leads the spirits from the cemetery to their family's homes. It also contains a blend of chrysanthemums, mugwort, woodworm, bay, mullein, and orris root. I swear there was freaking rosemary in there. I'm lying. I was wrong. It looked like rosemary. This blend can be used to ring a candle or to ring a candle or placed in a bowl on your altar as an offering. Do not consume. Keep away from pets and children. Okay. Um, so I have this cute little bowl that I put offerings in. So I'll be replacing that with this. And then I also like to um, blend in my with my pestle and mortar, like crush it up, and then put it in my um, oh my cauldrons over there. Uh, put it in my cauldron and, and burn on um, the charcoal discs. All right. Man, I'm really upset that it isn't rosemary. I thought that it was like a synchronicity. Mm, whatever. Okay. Well, I don't know what to get. There's like a pine cone or something. This doesn't look like a pine cone though. It's like, what is this? Look at that. Okay, let's figure out what in the hell this is. Um, freaking don't know. Oh, here it is. Okay, dried plumasum star cone. This dried cone is a type of, why do they do all these words that I can't pronounce? <laughs> It is a type of leucodendron, a rare shrub. Plumasum forms a cone, which then slowly opens into a star-shaped flower with russet and gold accents. I had to include it in this month's box. They are so beautiful. Use it as an offering or as a decor. Well, this is a lovely, like, fall, um little altar decor so um I got this little sprig of things <laughs> in one of my other boxes so we'll just put that right up there with that okay uh okay 
Um, okay, let's get our candle. So we have a little um, beeswax rolled peachy colored candle. Let's see what they have to say about that. what that is well let me come back to it I don't really see it in here I'm sure it's right in the middle of my face but okay you guys don't need to sit here and watch me like try to find this okay whatever move it along Okay, let's get our, our um, one of our crystals. If you've watched any of my um, previous videos, I am currently enrolled in a crystal healers course. Oh, it looks like honey calcite. I love calcite. I don't know why. <laughs> I love it. I have an orange. Oh, I don't know where it's at. I have a really big, well, it's not really big. It's like you know, sits in my hand, chunk of orange calcite that I love, love, love. So yeah, this looks like honey calcite and it came in like a little bronzy uh, bag and I love to use these for little um, spell bags. So I always keep all of those. Let's see here. Raw honey calcite. This stone is said to increase feelings of confidence and courage and aid in over and aids it says in aids and overcome obstacles in overcoming obstacles. It can also help to regain personal power. I need this right now. I need this right now. Uh, <laughs> to put it next to my hero fan card because um, we need to get our personal power back y'all. Okay. Um, okay. We've got our, um, our herbs and she, I don't think I have any on my desk or my altar, I put all of my herbs in um, like glass vials like this with the cork um, top. So we have mandrake. See that? Black salt. Casting salt, little goodies in there. All right, mandrake. Metaphysical properties include protection, love, fertility, health. Mandrake is said to intensify the magic of any spell. To charge mandrake root with your personal power, sleep with it for three nights during the full moon. It is said to aid in empowering your visions and propelling them into manifestation. Uh, when placed in the home, it is said to bring protection and prosperity. When carried, it aids in attracting love and courage. I need a drink. <laughs> it's my favorite. Ultra Fiesta. If you're not addicted to these, I wouldn't suggest it exactly because they're addicting and they're horrible for your body. But damn if they're not good. I used to drink the ones with sugar and um, that's not good. <laughs> so I finally trained myself to drink the zero sugar ones and um, this one's my favorite. If you guys like energy drinks and you don't have a heart condition, those are good. Okay, sorry. Put that over there. What else do I get? Okay, I think this is probably an oil. You know, the last Sugar Muses is um, a new subscription box for me. Um, I had not subscribed to them a long time ago um, when I had my other subscriptions that we won't name because we're on a different video. But they had been sending in the last, like last month, I got these little square like ritual oils. But this one, look how big this is. It's got to be like 15. Yeah, it's 15 mils, y'all. That's a big one. And it says Sawin. Um, I don't see any, it's clear. There's no 
um, herbs or anything in it. Okay. God, the, the labels are so small. I, I'm getting old, guys. Um, let's find the ritual oil. So I want ritual oil. Shake gently before using. Anoint your pulse points. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself or your magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. This gothic, gothic uh, perfume oil blend contains notes of dark woods, dried Victorian roses, oh, my grandma's rosemary, <laughs> and ancient spiced incense. It contains sandalwood, clove, cardamom, tonka bean, and vanilla essential oils in an almond oil base. Oils can also be used to anoint candles, spell items, and altar tools. Because this oil is free of alcohol, um, phthalates, I don't know. Anyways, it's that thing that they keep saying, oh, we don't have that in our stuff because it's bad. And other chemicals. I suggest using it within six months. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night. Da, 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 da. Okay, I want to smell it. Mmm. I can smell the vanilla. It's very subtle, but I mean, it's yum. <laughs> I like stick it right up my nose. Okay. Yay. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's get our incense. Ooh, there's like... Eucalyptus in there? Okay. Incense stick, there we go. Is it not gonna tell us what it is? Oh, girl. Um. Well, I guess they don't tell us what the incense is. Darn. That's okay. It smells really good. It's... It, I mean, there's eucalyptus in here, but I don't know, like, what else. I feel like there's some other note in here that I don't, don't know what it is. All right, let's put it over there. Well, this guy's staring at me, so I'll just go ahead and get him out. He's a day of the dead candle. Oh my God, stop it. Look how cute that is. Oh, we know what day we're at in this business. Okay, let's find, let's find it. Sugar skull candle. Skull candles are a traditional craft in Salamanca... Guana, Mexico. It's in Mexico. And are typically created for the Day of the Dead. Each candle is handcrafted out of wax and then hand painted. Burn your candle to honor your ancestors. Grandma! Well, and Grandpa. I, I'm leaving at my Grandpa. Sorry. Uh, Grandpa's passed like 20, 24 years ago. Um, and I got pregnant like that week with my oldest child. <laughs> so that's how I know how long my grandpa has been um, on the other side. So yeah, again, we'll tell those stories later. They're very interesting. Um, put that little guy over there. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so we've got tea. Oh. Spiced yogi. Yeah, that's what it says. Spiced yogi, organic tea. I don't know if it's focusing. It says, um, ooh, cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, and black pepper. Hmm, I wonder what that tastes like. <laughs> Caffeine free. All right. Still sounds delish. 
I probably don't need more caffeine. <laughs> and then we've got our tea bag that goes with it. Let's see if we can find it on here. Where is my tea? I thought it was like, oh, here we go. So she's got it written into like the the ritual. So she has a ritual in here. I'll I'll like not read that um, to y'all unless you guys really want me to. I don't know um, where to go. Okay, so usually after the ritual, she says to um, ground herself with some food and a cup of. So this is organic spiced yogi tea. Yeah, and it doesn't really say. I mean, I guess it says on the actual package, like what it. Um, I'm gonna smell it. What it has in it. Mmm. Oh, smells good. I might be drinking this later. Okay, put that aside. Sorry, I have to keep switching my position. I'm. I really can't sit still. It's very, it's very hard for me. Okay. Oh, so we have a, a little black organza bag with a, a little present in it. All right. God, sorry. I'll get a haircut soon. It's a little sugar skull keychain. <laughs> Look at that guy. Cool. Day of the Dead keychain. This keychain features a sugar skull made out of resin. The sugar skull, or why stop? I can't. I can't read Spanish. Um, Calaveritas de Azacar is a prominent symbol of the holiday. The skull is used not as a morbid symbol, but rather a whimsical reminder of the cyclicality of life, which is why they are brightly and beautifully decorated. Awesome. Um, I, I need to probably learn Spanish. My boyfriend feels like we need to move to um, Puerto Rico. Is that where he wanted to go? I don't know. He wants us to move somewhere that's, yeah, I think it's Puerto Rico, that's Spanish speaking. I mean, not because it's Spanish speaking, but, <laughs> but I'm like, yes, let's go live somewhere where there's a beach. Um, and it's warm, like, all year round. I can't stand winter. And I'm really upset that we're, we're getting close. Okay, so anyways, moving along. I can keep talking all day. Okay, I think I'm on my last item. What is it? It's in a little black box. Oh, it's a necklace. Oh. It's Jasper. Little wire wrapped. Can you see that? Yeah. Ooh, on a black like ribbon. Oh my God, I look so crazy in these videos. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's find it. Polychrome Jasper pendant. This gemstone is said to aid in being true to yourself, embracing life enthusiastically, honoring limitations, as well as facilitating action and courage. It is a stone of transformation for those who are seeking and will help to find a path that is desired, yet not be known yet. To charge your pendant and to get the maximum benefit from it, form a link between yourself and the cosmic forces that will operate through it by performing a simple act of empowerment. To do this, first pass, should be pass. First pass through the smoke of the incense. Hold your pendant in your dominant hand and picture your desired objective being infused into the piece of jewelry. Super. Okay, I was just reading the bottom of this. So at the very bottom of like all the paperwork, it says, thank you for choosing Midnight Muses. I am forever grateful. I hope you enjoy the October Samhain Day of the Dead box. May you find the answers you seek during your rituals, be successful in all of your castings, and may the magic of shadow season infuse your month with many blessings. With love and magic, Christy. Awesome sauce. So yes, that is our box. 
So we've got the Polychrome Jasper Pendant. It's right here. Um, the Sugar Skull Keychain. Um, our oh, what, Spiced Yogi Tea. Oops. We've got the Casting Salt, Black Salt, and um, Mandrake Root um, Herbs. I... I, I don't know. It doesn't really say what this candle is. I mean, it's just a candle that we'll be using during ritual. So there's that candle. We've got our um, ancestor offering that I'll be putting here pretty soon. I got my um, Hierophant tarot card. And sorry, my phone just told me. <laughs> my, my phone just told me that Amazon has shipped my 24 pack of this. Um, my honey calcite crystal, my sugar skull candle. Freaking love this. I think this is maybe my favorite. Um, the Sawin ritual oil. I, hopefully I'm not missing anything. <laughs> the mandrake artwork and our, uh, whoops solid artwork oh and then this um i forget what this is called but our cute little like star pine cone friend okay i think that's it awesome thanks guys for tuning in and taking a look at my midnight muses box and i will link that below if you guys don't already subscribe in case you're interested um i'm loving it I, this is just my second month with their company. I subscribe to um, their Deluxe Box and the Midnight Muses. And I have been completely satisfied with this box. Um, this box is around 30 some dollars. I will um, also link that below um, to let you know how much it costs. And, oh, we got incense too. I forgot to say that we got our incense. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great box. I'm super pleased with it and I will continue to subscribe. So I'd appreciate it if you, oh, my camera. I would really appreciate it if you guys would uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss one of my videos. Um, hit the little bell thing, ding it, and uh, you won't miss anything. And give me a comment. What do you like most about this box? I think my favorite thing is this cute little candle. And uh, check me out on Instagram. Check out my Etsy store. And again, I appreciate y'all. Until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.